Are you experiencing problems with voice meter, such as crackling, popping, audio distortion from your microphone or even from your headphones, and you just can't seem to pin down what's causing that problem? If so, this might be the video for you. What is going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And yes, we are gonna be talking about voice meter and trying to figure out what is causing all these little pesky problems and issues with this program. Now, I wanna preface this with saying that I've made another video that covers a lot of these problems and some of these settings work for other people. They have worked for me in the past on different systems. And then sometimes for some people, they just don't work at all. For example, I've had these settings sometimes not work for me literally a month after using them and they work flawlessly for a month. I've had family members that have used this program and none of the settings work for them at all. So that's why I wanted to follow this up with another video with other things that I've learned and your comments that I've received in the description or comment section of the previous video. So that video will be linked as the first link in the description. So definitely check that out if you guys don't get a fix from this video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so one of the first things I want to mention is I was kind of speculating that most of the issues could be stemming from system memory. And I still think that to be the problem. What I thought the issue was is so much memory is allocated to these different bands. And I honestly don't understand all of them. I just understand that they're separate bands and use and pull from different resources. So you could definitely adjust these, but we also found a negative effect of it is that you do receive a delay in audio, which if you're playing your headset volume from like a video game through is going to kind of suck. If you're outputting your microphone and you're streaming or something or recording, then you're going to have a delay that you're going to have to match with video and it just it kind of becomes annoying having to tweak all those settings. So that was kind of one of the things I mentioned. And there were some other things that we tried of switching some of these and making sure, for example, maybe these are on WDM, these are on KS, and then this one would be on MME. And for some people I know that's worked, that's worked great. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm running voice meter banana on this newer computer that I built. And I have had zero issues from the time I built this computer. And that leads me to suspect it probably is a memory error or a processing error. And we'll talk about that too. So as you can see, all of my audio channels are currently WDM. And let's go ahead and kind of delve into uh, why I think this could be memory or processing error um, that causes this issue. So like I said, we can adjust that there, but let me go to system information. So if you guys have a computer and you don't know what you're rocking, you can go here and you can find out information about your computer. So I'm currently now rocking a six core 12 thread processor, which means there's tons of cores and tons of threads for extra processing. So if I'm playing a video game, you know, voice meter might still have its own thread or let alone its own core set aside specifically for processing audio, which is a big deal. So one of the things that I think is a problem is either this or the RAM or maybe both. So I'm currently running 16 gigs of RAM and that means there's a lot of headroom. So even whenever I'm playing games, I've still got extra memory for doing all the background stuff that I need done. And RAM is specifically useful for multitasking. Uh, with the six cores and the 12 threads like I was getting at, sometimes with computers, uh, you might max out your process. So if you use Task Manager on Windows, you can do Control Shift Escape. You can bring up Task Manager, mine popped up on the different window. You can see right here, we're currently recording and we're only using 47% of our memory and 14% of the CPU usage. And you can see voice meter shows up here on this list. Now it's not utilizing a lot, but I have to assume that whenever this maxes out and this is not getting enough memory or CPU processing power that it needs, it can cause the distortion and voice meter to break. So. That is something I wanted to mention. Um, what are some of the fixes that you can do to keep from having this issue? So one of the first things you can do is you can upgrade RAM. So RAM's very easy to upgrade. You can check your computer and if you have an extra RAM slot, you can go in and throw in another stick of RAM and you might get anywhere from four to eight, to 16, depending on how your computer is. If you see that in that task manager, control shift escape, that whenever yours tends to crash, I would leave this open and see if there's any relevance to this. If you see it crashes after this maxes out at 100, then, uh, or 99% usage, 
then maybe see about upgrading your RAM if you can, or adding another stick of memory. If you see that your CPU is maxing out, then that altogether might be more of a upgrade. And that right there could be quite a bit. So what can we do for free? Because there is, in my opinion, almost always something you can do for free. And it depends on which version of voice meter you're running. So if you're running potato and you're obviously, you don't have a great computer for it, downgrade to banana, you know, try this out. You do get less features and bells and whistles, but maybe it will run stable for you. And if that doesn't work, you can just try the regular version of voice meter. I know you get less inputs and stuff like that, but maybe that will work for you a little bit better and is going to keep you from experiencing all these other issues. So all right guys, that's gonna be all for this video. Once again, check the link in the description down below, specifically because there's actual troubleshooting steps I go through there, and this is more of theory and kind of, well, you could try this, you could try this, and not me specifically showing you stuff because it's very generalized information. Um, I wanted to make this video because I get tons of comments all the time from some people that say, great, this is working, voice meter is absolutely amazing, thank you so much. And some of these could be very simple to those settings I mentioned in the first video. However, if it is something that is being caused on your system by something to do with processing power, RAM, and stuff like that, you can try using simplified versions of this software or even try upgrading you know, to better RAM or more RAM or maybe even a newer processor to see if that will work for you. All right, guys, that's gonna be all for this video. If you learned something in this video that helps you use voice meter or get it to be more stable, or if you didn't, just let me know in the comment section down below. And if you didn't learn anything or you didn't figure out how to fix it, check out that other video that I'm gonna have linked in the top of the description. Maybe something in there will kind of, you know, click and work with your system. Uh, once again, that's gonna be all for this video on voice meter and hopefully fixing all of your crackling issues. This has been Chad from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.